Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to share with you how to write a code in C++ that will compute the uh, sum, the difference, product, and quotient of two numbers. Okay, so to start creating a code in C++ using Microsoft Visual Studio, so click this first your start button and then open your Microsoft Visual Studio. Then you click new project and then you can use empty project and then you can click here write the name of your project for instance okay so you click okay that will be saved on the desktop location Okay, so next you right click on the source file here, add the new item. Then choose, click C++ and then you type again the code. Uh, for instance, we are going to put 1 just to uh, make it unique file name. Then add. Okay, so for instance, I'm going to paste here the code. My code. Okay. So this time, uh, with the basic structure or following the basic structure of a C++ uh, code, uh, you include input output stream. The use of this is so that you can use the input, the C out and the C in statement the include string so that you can uh, put a string type of variable or type of variable in your C++ document next using namespace std so that you, you will not repeatedly type the code std colon colon then uh, C out you need to use the using namespace std so that you can directly write a code with this type uh, C out okay so first uh, in writing the program you declare first the variables okay so float a so meaning letter a is a variable meaning you can change this one to b c d or your name as long as it is not part of the case code in C++ okay float means you can include uh, decimal numbers uh, okay so integer sum variable and then next integer difference integer product then float quotient okay float quotient that means you can display an output with a decimal point okay so for integers that's it is used to, for positive and negative numbers Okay, so process first. Uh, this is actually a comment process. So this has no effect when you run the code. So this green. Okay, so first C out means character out. Meaning if you command that one, the syntax is C out. Uh, less than, less than sign. Then open quotation. Then enter first number. Okay, so meaning it will display enter first number on the screen when you run the program. So, meaning the text inside the quotation will display on the screen. That's the function of that command. Next, cn. So, cn means it will, after, and after displaying the enter first number on the screen while you run the program, it will now ask for cn. C input that means it will accept numbers that will be stored in a variable so a variable here is a float assigned as float meaning you can input uh, decimal numbers okay so when you input the first number it will be stored in a here so okay so then next C out enter second number so, meaning this will display on the screen and then it will ask from the user to input C out as CM means B. So, the next number, the second number you are going to input, 
it will be stored in the variable B. Okay, so these are the formulas. So, this program actually computes the sum, the difference, the product, and quotient of two numbers. So, okay, so you're going to write the formula. The sum is equal to, the this is the syntax, A plus B. So, anything the user type on the first number will be stored in A. And any number that is being typed by the user for the second number will be stored for B. Okay, so sum is equal to A plus B. Okay, next difference is equal to A minus B. Product A ta uh, times B. So multiplication in programming is asterisk. Okay, so next division in programming is slash A divided by B. Okay, this time this command, this line of command actually, it tells the C compiler to display the sum is on the screen and then less than less than sign and then it will display the sum that is being computed with here with this formula so okay so the result in the sum of a plus b will be stored here so this the sum will be displayed on the screen next c out n line so the function of this line is just to put another space is just like pressing enter on the keyboard to move one space down okay next c out or character out again this will display the difference is on the screen and then the difference of a minus b from the based on the input of the user so difference this one this one is the variable so if you're going to change this one for example if you make it double f that one you also make this one double f because this will display an error here okay so identify that is undefined because your variable you're going to use here is one f so you make sure this is identical with the uh, variable above depth or you can okay so next see out this will display product on the screen and then the product result here and with this formula will be displayed with this variable okay so next end line move one space down next it will display quotient or the q here so the result in dividing a divided by b will be displayed here okay see out and then to terminate the program is C out and L so C out end line actually then system post that after running the program it will display first the result on the screen and it will post for a while okay then return and this is actually this close corner brace tells the C compiler that this is the end of the program and this one is the beginning of the program. This one, the open curly brace, beginning of the program, and the closed curly brace is the end of the program. Or it tells the C compiler that that's the end of the program. So let us try this program to run this one, start debugging. You click this one, or you press F5, then click yes. Okay, so it will ask input from the user. Enter first number. So, for example, you type 15. Your second number is, for example, 3. Enter. So, it will display the sum is 18. So, that's correct. 15 plus 3 is 18. The difference is 12. Okay, 15 minus 3 is 12. The product is 45. 15 times 3 is 45. The quotient is 5. So, 15 divided by 3 is five okay so uh, that's all how to make a C, simple c++ program to compute the sum the difference the product and quotient of two numbers from based on the given by the user so if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated of all the videos that I'm going to upload. Thank you for watching.